वेलकम क्लास माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस राय प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बी वी डी आई टी एम लखनऊ द कोर्स टूडे विल टेक अप के सी ई जीरो सेवन सिक्स अर्बन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्लानिंग टूडे लेक्चर इज थर्टी फाइव इन विच वील कवर लैंड यूज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्लानिंग पार्ट टू रेफरेंसेस वी आर टेकन चक्रवर्ती पार्थ था एंड दास एनिमेज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग पैपे कोस्टा एंड प्रिवेंडस पी डी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्लानिंग कडियाली एंड लाल प्रिंसिपल एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग आर श्रीनिवास कुमार इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग एस के खन्ना एंड जस्टो हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग सम मेटेरियल हैव बीन टेकन फ्रॉम नेपटेल एंड इंटरनेट द कंटेंट्स टूडे विल कवर लैंड यूज एंड लैंड कवर लैंड यूज एसेसबिलिटी मोबिलिटी लैंड यूज एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंट्रैक्शन हैंड्स एंड एसेसबिलिटी मॉडल्स डेंसिटी सेचुरेशन ग्रेडियंट मेथड सो विल टेक अप वन बाई वन लैंड वी आर कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लेक्चर लैंड यूज एंड लैंड कवर अगेन लैंड यूज प्लानिंग इज रिक्वायर टू प्रिडिक्ट ए स्पेशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एंड एक्नॉमिक एक्टिविटी इन द रीजन लैंड यूज मॉडल्स सर्व टू डिस्टिंग पर्पज फर्स्ट फॉरकास्टिंग टोटल एक्टिविटी ऑफ एंड अर्बन एरिया सेकेंड एलोकेटिंग दिज एक्टिविटी एमोंग द प्री डिटरमाइंड सेट लैंड यूज प्लानिंग फॉर ए सिटी इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स टास्क एंड नीड टू बी डन वेरी केयरफुली Changes in the land use pattern are generally irreversible. So now come to the accessibility. Land use and transportation system are inseparably linked. The concept of accessibility considers the basic underlying relationship between the land use and the transportation so what is the need for land planning we have discussed in earlier lecture also so we can see here in the uh, this line diagram this is the base year and this is the horizontal year horizon year first includes land survey then travel survey trip generation captive model split trip distribution choice model split route assignment by modes so we can see here in the horizon year then this will include zonal trip ends trip ends by mode this is your origin and destination volume by mode this will be contributed by alternative transport system and finally the route assignment by mode so this is the uh, picture which is clearly shown why land use planning is necessary this is the land use cycle what happen this is the first one this is the land use once land use or make provision for transportation system then the trip will generate 
and for trip transport needs and for this transport facility are required which needs accessibility so we can see here this is the cycle after accessibility of a place the land value will increase tremendously in the urban area and again the land use so this is the cycle and the last product is increase in cost of land value so this is the land use cycle for the urban area this is the a transportation cycle we can say also so accessibility refer to the ease of movement between places it indicates a special relationship or a degree of connection between one location and all other location in a region accessibility increases either in term of time or money when movement become less costly also the propensity for the interaction increases as the cost of the movement decreases this is the inversely proportional so now come to the mobility mobility is the ability to travel from one place to the another in the urban area associated with the particular group of urban resident this indicates the ease with which a person can move out depends on the performance of transportation system and ability of a individual and this could be measured in term of trip made by all modes all modes are considered for the mobility availability of different 25 modes and gives some indication of the resources one can spend on travel often expresses in term of number of trip made by an individual or a household or sometimes in terms of np the total amount of travel number of annual kilometer per person etc so this is the mobility what are the disadvantage disadvantage of mobility measurement per capita trip there can be many short trip or trip of all trip length will be given in same weightage it can be affected by the distribution of population by the age group in the zone for example there will be a less number of trip produced by age group of 0 to 10 or we can say the Uh, zero or one or two years infants not able to make a trip even at ten uh, years old have a very limited trip for just going to schools etc. The mobility level in term of average distance travel per trip could be better measure than per capita trip.
So, when mobility is expressed as a distance travel, then it is found that as the accessibility index increases, the mobility decreases. This is important. Accessibility in index increases, the mobility decreases. Hence, distance travel is not actual mobility, but is a measure of mobility need. The concept of mobility has been used rather undiscriminately to refer to both supply side and demand side of transportation system. So, we can calculate the mobility accessibility by Black's accessibility and this is the empirical formula. This is 18.77 minus 1.44 into mobility. So, by this we can calculate the accessibility. Land use and uh, transportation interaction. Land use and transportation interaction is not as simple. It is a uh, conducted through the travel behavior of individual, which is again linked with the several urban phenomena and the system. So, in this diagram, we can see uh, this is the microeconomic development. That's a, a major contribution in GDP of the country, employment rate and job creation, though it is a microeconomic development. So, we can see here, and uh, this requires rural urban or urban urban migration. For the better facility in the urban area, rural peoples migrate from rural to urban area. So, here the population growth are decline and the household formation are losses, but generally in the urban area it is not possible. Next is the demographic changes and distribution. So, we can see here this needs land use this will also needs land use and land use demographic changes and distribution will occur and for this required transportation system for even a technology and infrastructure requires then the transportation will require. Land use and the transportation interaction, distribution of land use such as residential, industrial, or commercial over the urban area determines the location of a human activity such as a living, working, shopping, education, or a leisure. Distribution of human activities requires a special interaction or a trip in the transportation system to overcome the distance between the location of activities. Transportation system on the other hand determines the special development on the virtue of improving accessibility which in turn determines the value of land and land use. So, we can see here land use transportation interaction, we can see here accessibility, land use, then the attractiveness which moves or construction, location decision of investors. So, we can see here, this is the construction, then moves, activities, car ownership, trip, 
decision, destination choice, then mode choice, and of course, route choice will be there, link road will be there for door to door services. Then the travel, time and distance and the cost will affect the transportation interaction. So, we can see here the broad shape of the transportation interaction, how one depends on the others. Now, come to the Hansen's accessibility model. Hansen demonstrated the location with the good accessibility had a higher chance of being developed at a higher density than the remote location. Designed to predict the location of population considering employment as a predominant factor in determining the location. The use of accessibility index that is a i j a i j will be equal to e j divided by d i j to the power b. So, where the a i j is the accessibility index of a zone i with respect to zone j. E j is the total employment, D i j is the distance between i and j, B is an exponential. So, overall accessibility index for zone i will be equal to a i will be equal to sum over j, E j divided by D i j to the power B. So, the amount of vacant land that is suitable and available for residential use is also an additional factor in attracting future population to a zone. This is refer to holding capacity that is called H i this is the holding capacity. The development potential of a zone D i will be equal to a i into h i here h i means, means holding capacity. The population is distributed to zone on the basis of the relative development of the potential. So, we can see here the potential is a i h i divided by sum over a i h i. If the total growth in the population in the future year is z t, then the population allocated to zone i will be equal to z t will be equal to g t sorry g i will be equal to g t a i h i divided by sum over a i h i or g t d i divided by sum over d i. So, this is the population allocation zone for the growth total growth in a population in the future. So, this is the Hansen accessibility models we can define this accessibility models like this way. Now, come to, come to the Putman's model, because land use is based on different models depending on the location of the urban area, location uh, of the country. So, it is a location, loc locational model that forecasts residence and workplace. So, n i will be equal to sum over j e j p i by j, where 
n i the number of number of persons living in zone i e j person working in zone j p i by j is the probability that a person working in zone j would choose to live in zone i so that is the human behavioral aspect of the user so putman's models go on p i by j will be equal to f c i by j where c i by j is cost of time of travel between i and j so f c i j will be equal to c i j to the power minus alpha divided by sum over i into c i j minus alpha where alpha is the cost sensitivity parameters now come to the density saturation gradient method this is based on regularity of decline in density and percent saturation with the distance from the central business district cbd this can be used as a tool for analysis of existing as well as a future land use structure the forecast is a basically a trend projection of the existing land use and the density structure in the region this requires more subjective input and allow only for a, a limited policy and other planning decision density saturation gradient method three empirical rules are used in this method first intensity of land use declines as the distance or the travel time to cbd suppose in lucknow cbd at the center of the city is suppose hazratganj so the density of the population or the activities are more near to hazratganj as we go out in on outer side or as we go far away from the hazratganj the density of the population or activity will reduce so the intensity of land use declines as the distance or travel time to cvd if the travel time is more the density will be less if the distance is more then the uh, density will be less so the ratio of amount of land in use to amount of available land decreases as the distance from the cvd increases this is quite clear ratio of amount of land in use to amount of available land decreases as the distance from cbd increases the population of land devoted to each type of land use 
in an area remain stable. So, we can see here the density distance relationship is given by d x a will be equal to d 0 e to the power minus b x where d x is population density at a distance x from the city center. d 0 is the central density as extrapolated into the C V D of city b the density gradient or the slope factor. Holding capacity of a zone is given by S C i will be equal to P i plus V i d, where S C i is the holding capacity of zone i, P i is existing residential population of zone i. V i vacant available or suitable land in zone i and d it is a anticipated average density at which all future residential development will occur. So, density saturation gradient method the percentage population saturation of zone i in a certain year will be equal to population of zone i in a certain year multiplied by 100 divided by holding capacity of zone i. So, we can calculate the percentage population saturation of zone i. Thank you very much. Thank you.